Hello and welcome to the Money Charts channel as the uh, date is that of November the 28th, 2018. About 2100 hours Eastern Time or UTC minus 5 at this given time. And we'll, let's take a look at precious metals, all of them, and go from there. Gold. And at 1223 at this time and it's mainly been going sideways for close to a full decade clear range after a spectacular rally the 18 average was just tremendous of course along the way and then after this 18 average of lows hit when gold hit 700 how, how this rally it's just a straight up move markets can correct either that through time going sideways or through price opposite direction so it's practically been sideways correction price correction and then this sideways with some up and down choppiness along the way so that's the long term perspective amongst gold we look at this on some shorter terms. Let's uh, just quickly go through weekly. That's just choppy as can be. As it stands within the 18 average, market going going down. Settling in, band has started to go sideways, slightly rallying. We've seen it barely go above the 18 average. Not enough for me to say it's established uh, resistance. But enough to state, I like how it has came down to this uh, area and is riding the 18 average of highs for the last uh, a couple of weeks. Uh, we can see this level of resistance that it occurred throughout the end of August, September into October at around 12.12 uh, .12 has been support thus far, but it's got to get above this range of 12.28, 12.38 doing so. Once it's getting above here, I wouldn't be surprised if it can uh, Maybe test a 61.8% Fibonacci level, probably somewhere in the area of the high 1200s as an area for resistance. And then on the single hour time frame, interesting move today because uh, after, uh, I don't know if the Fed, there was this, this wasn't Fed time at 12 o'clock. So usually if the Fed speaks, it's like 2 o'clock. But a nice little rally from this point, 12.12. Up to 1226 has had a little bit of a correction but starting to make a nice little move finding support near the 18 average of highs so that's gold silver not as impressive but pretty much around the same story because gold and silver do go up together for the most part and we'll go from its time frame hourly moving back i own a lot more silver than i do gold i have had a picture of a silver maple as my icon even going before uh trading cryptos thankfully cryptos have enabled me to double my silver portfolio and do better than double my gold but i really don't have much gold at all I barely have much any of it but I have a lot of course of the silver metal to me this is something in which I say to myself okay 20 years 10 years even five for that matter if I were to put some sort of asset class in a safe and I have no access in opening it for say that period of time what would I want to put in there if I could only put one item in it well, gold's a most certain honorable, honorable mention, but silver most certainly is number one. I would not want to put fiat, fiat cash. I could put that in a safe. Cryptos, I can put that in a safe. As you could put hardware wallets, you could put the hardware uh, keys, you can write those down. In fact, uh, cryptos is one of the easiest things to put in a safe, as is fiat currency. Silver is a lot harder because when you ha have four or five digits of ounces, Congratulations to those who have six digits. That is extremely uh, large storage. But just assuming you have the storage, because that's, we'll just say that for the example, because I know silver in itself as its metal 
has very outstanding tangible use will it ever be money not if cold's around no but whatever money is in future times silver to me will always be great so that's why i like playing the crypto games if cryptos can have another good rally i haven't bought silver in a while i'll definitely buy some more again and i'm kind of i'm kind of antsy to want to make a buy order but i'm still waiting for decent prices along the way for silver, it's mainly been a sideways consolidation range. $14 has been a level of support. The resistance area not tested in quite some time is around $14.80. It managed recently to get up to $14.50, but really a lot of sideways consolidation. Within the weekly term time frame, we can see it was in this up and down choppy mode. Very much like Bitcoin having a pattern of matching lows which was around 15 and two thirds and lower highs as all of these lower highs and yes technically this was higher but really all of them lower and then it had its decent size break continuous red candle down moves and it took a while to get from break of 16 dollars down to 14 but it did so whilst maintaining its price movement below the 18 average of lows 18 average well it's starting to flatten out on a sideways basis amongst the weekly as we head on over the monthly time frame so just like gold you have a beautiful move you have point a low you have this high a little bit of a correctionary move but any type of uh selling that was done up here you could buy back again in here and if you took the hit it was just a couple, three years of uh, getting back to where it came from, breaking this level of resistance. Huge, huge gain. And then, of course, this level of support uh, with, this, with this resistance in here. And it had a leg lower, this level of support again. And it resisted where it came from. It never did resist this area. And I, was, I was expecting it to. I was surprised it never did, at least not as of yet. But obviously, key support at 27 broke below. Key support at 819 broke. We're definitely at the key support level right now. And it's, it should be due for even a possible bounce from here because my rule of thinking with Monk's technical analysis or trading, really, is if you have a key low like this, you have at least some sort of significant rally. It didn't have that great of a rally through price, but it had one heck of a rally through time. That... And it had a little bit of a small little quick move in here that oftentimes there's a decent chance on a bullish or bullish level it's going to at least come up to this level of previous congestion or support. So I like the chances that this should at least get up to 1620 in any type of short term run. But I realize if it does break this level of support. There could be some decent sized moves and we could be talking about matching up with this previous support level in at around 10 and this was eight dollars and fifty cents was the low from before so that is the silver chart let's move on to the gold to silver ratio next and we're going to go through all of the metals and the volume bars are a little bit annoying so i can hide them ta-da okay so the move within the hourly time frame showed that uh, silver outperformed gold because this went down. So it had a better rally today. But when we look at the overall perspective amongst this, there is, this is looking to break out to the upside. Daily term. All right, T then. So do I need to draw a line in? That green line is roughly where I'd want it. 85 even maybe but in that area that's all that matters because you have this level of resistance a very beautiful correctionary move down because you obviously made a high from the last key low and then showed a lot of strength amongst the 18 average of highs but only had a small leg higher however its correctionary move was successful and then uh, technically another small leg higher 
correctionary move again successful but now we got another matching point it's doing well right now amongst this 18 average this level of current point we can see here I'm just gonna remove the drawing tools and this level of resistance looks to be pretty big in breaking out weekly chart and I got two lines in here this line kind of matches the 2015 2016 highs well 2015 technically after all it had a very good price correction again all of these higher lows that it had 2012 13 14 15 and so on it had its first good run below the 18 average of lows where it resisted it just on one occasion so a successful correction now back to point high so you got point low pick which one you want obviously we're going to pick this one at 30 so point low 30 to point high and all it does is correct about 23% of a correction. And now that uh, I see that, I want to see exactly how big of a level this was. So we got a little bit of 32. And I'm doing 320 for 32.0, so I'll do like 833. Well, yeah. So I'm looking at 76.4, which is 665 or 66 and a half. Did that come into play? Oh yeah, of course. I mean, Fibonacci does what Fibonacci does. So whenever you have a situation of point low, point high, 23.6 correction, back to that level, and it's looking to break it you got to be ready and cautious for a potential larger move higher. And when we expand this line, oh, does this ever go back because it was resistance in 03. It was resistance in 08. It was resistance in 16. And when we look at where we go from, you have point high, point low. It comes back to this matching point high. This one had the huge dip below. Big statement breaking by the, below this level of resistance or its previous support because spot like that, you're expecting some sort of lower high. So resisting here and rolling over is what you might have expected, but no, it kept going and it didn't even resist much in here. A decent correction, of course, from here to here, but that's all it was, as mentioned, 23.6. So therefore, as I now see the price action getting above it, to me, this has the potential for a decent leg higher. And if a situation like that is to occur, it's got to only come on two ways, with the first one being the most probable. That is both gold and silver go down, but gold goes down a lot less than silver does. So silver might go down 30% and gold goes down like 7 or 8%, something in that nature. And the less likely one is they both go up together or gold goes up and silver goes sideways or barely down kind of deal. Where gold goes up like 26% and silver goes up 6 or breaks even. You have a day where gold's up 14% and silver does like nothing those are the only ways and again I don't expect it to be because of bullish action I'd expect it mainly because of bearish action then I look at things like JP Morgan accumulating the physical silver and if they also have control of price movement and mechanisms within their trading vehicles then there's a good chance if they're wanting to accumulate more that they're gonna to want to buy it cheaper than more expensive Platinum isn't that exciting, so I'm going to take a look at Platinum for about probably a minute. I haven't looked at this chart much. I just browsed through it earlier today. 
So I'm just going to go through it quickly. And amongst its monthly, I got a Fibonacci from this low this high, 23.6 down, 38.2 down, and 61 down. And quite frankly, this has not been the key level of support. It's, it's a Fibonacci miss, really. And it's more common for it to be a hit than a miss because this has been solid support at 800. And it's had that move there in 08. It had that move there in 2015. Now it's spending a lot of time in an area that it didn't before when it bottomed both previous times. Showing weakness amongst the 18 average of uh, hot lows. This is on the monthly chart. On the daily term time frame, we see a market that had a nice run from the August lows to this top. But since that last correction to the 18, managed to resist within the band, thus the band flattened, started to barely decline. And over the last couple of days, it's now starting to leave the band. So trend line has been broken, however you want to draw it from these lows to these highs. And uh, definitely concerned, I mean, this could go range bound still nonetheless and a failed breakdown, but definitely concerned that this thing, uh, bullishly and bearishly to go down to 800. And if, of course, the metals go down, this would probably follow suit as well. Palladium, on the other hand, has a nice, interesting, bullish picture. It's at 1181, basically at all-time highs, at least marginally. Uh, 1182, 1186. Okay. Within the daily, it, it's had this low in August, but has kept a great run, and it still has not lost its trend. In the up move, it's been going up for quite some time that it's due to correct for some sort of retracement from point low at around 840 and point high, which right now is in at 1185. But the 18 average has been magnificent support here, 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 three different times. And what do we see with this most previous session that just passed that is broken out above the 18. And uh, again, we're looking to probably break the 1200 barrier. Looking this at a, uh, I haven't looked at the single hour time frame, but uh, yeah, ever since this low here just keeps on going. Nice little rally today at about uh, 8 a.m. Eastern time, and has congested the rally with a small grinding higher and now small grinding lower. Looking at this on a weekly chart, as I was talking about with uh, the situation. One of the things I don't enjoy as a trader is when it makes a point A low, then the high, then a very good but an amazing correction. So I say very good as it has to have uh, some movement below the 18, which it does, two legs lower, even three if you get technical, or four, whichever, but has a good move lower, but significantly higher than this one here. So 750 would have counted as well, even 680. And then it comes back with a nice quick move extended above the 18 to previous high. What am I supposed to do? Sell here? Try to get a lower price? Because this thing on the break of this type of resistance has the potential to go, especially if it happens to be bigger on a more longer term level. We can see that these all time highs, I don't know how accurate this data is, but my historical brain memory of a decade ago does remember 1100 looked right. So this previous level of resistance, which was tested uh, well below it, but this the, these four lines, this is Fibonacci, the 236, 38, 2, 61, 8, 76, 4. When you see how it resisted this in 2011, had a good price correction. This is what I talk about again. This is a spot where if this thing went above this, this could have went, but the proper play worked out to be a good selling given that the price went from 860 down to below 500. But there wasn't any resistance this last time, or not much at all, only short-term resistance during the spring 
when it came up to this 817 level. And here it came back pierced above that key fib level, which is annoying if you got buy orders at say around 820 and the low comes in at 833. But that's just how the market works. But getting above here, it's already broken past this resistance. This thing has the opportunity to pretty much match any of these other good moves. This move here straight up from January to here, like just like 20, 20, 30 periods in a row. You have this straight up move. It's got maybe just one or two massive size green candles could be in play. The potential for this to have a 60, 70 percent gain before the end of the before the 20s or by the end of 2019 is not that large of a surprise to me. It would be interesting to see if this could keep going up with gold and silver actually going lower. But again, time will only tell on that. And we'll finish this off with copper. And really not much to go over on this one. Choppy-ish, which is, as a trader, that's all fine and dandy for me. But that's the long-term perspective of such. Within the daily time frame, it's been just choppily within this range. But big resistance at about 285. Two, actually, no. No, I'm used to cryptos. Um, 283. Getting above that level, then probably could shoot up to probably the $3 mark point. So there's an opportunity for about a 70% uh, push breaking that level. Of course, all trades bets and of the like that you do, well, that's your own risk and your own reward. For myself, risk reward management is always job number one. And the reason why I like silver is because I'm confident that it is going to maintain and probably because of its price suppression increase the wealth supply of my portfolio and being able to use cryptos to obtain such is pretty darn cool and have yourself a fantastic uh well we're moving into december as uh the calendar year is almost over. Take care. Bye-bye.